Welcome back to KVU News at 10. When thieves break into mailboxes, your identity could be at risk. The KVU defenders have been investigating Central Texas mail thefts for months now. Looking through court records, we found that some people guilty of the crime aren't always prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Investigative reporter Erica Proffer is in South Austin tonight with more. These are called cluster mailboxes. It's several mailboxes in one area, usually for a neighborhood or an apartment complex. And the U.S. Postal Service has a special key in order to access a group of mailboxes at once. But thieves also use similar keys to access your mail and steal your identity. And we found of those who are caught, not everyone gets federal charges. Some don't even get jail time. There's actually mail sitting in here. If every second counts in a criminal investigation, there's a mail on the slots. It's easy to see why Ava Osborne gets more frustrated by the minute. And I'm not trying to be nosy here, but it looks like someone's electric bill. There's an electric bill in here, an Austin electric bill. Especially when the minutes turn into days. Can't tell what else, but there's... And months. There's four pieces, of, there's five pieces of mail. But before these broken mailboxes, there's a piece of the mailbox. Ava noticed her mail sitting in the slot missing with the USPS informed delivery uh, email option that you have that shows you images of what you'll receive for the day. Bank statements you go to get and it's not there. Tax documents. And it isn't even that a few days later it's there. It just does not ever come. Ava called the KVU defenders after we reported broken mailboxes okay. led to long waits at post offices. I should have brought one of those tickers out here and just tick each time we find one. We found another problem. Is this the, the number you called? Yeah. <clears throat> Turns out this number to report crime We're sorry. We're goes nowhere. Or no so basically what's happened is that postal inspectors now are, are on their own. Frank Albergo is the national president for the Postal Police Officers Association. He says in 2020, the U.S. Postmaster General Louis DeJoy limited postal police from investigating mail theft. They can no longer utilize postal police officers. So if there's a, a crime that's committed, postal related, um, a postal inspector can no longer send postal police to respond. And the thieves may face only state charges, not federal. We asked the U.S. Postal Inspector's Office why. A spokesman wrote the agents gather info and evidence for a prosecutor, but it's up to the prosecutor to take the case. And even then, penalties may be lowered in court. We found six federal cases closed in Central Texas over the last decade. Hundreds of identities compromised. Every thief had some of their charges dropped in plea deals. Instead of the max 10 years in prison for just illegally possessing a postal key, court records we reviewed showed one person got about half that. The rest, less. 15 months, 12 months, and three had no prison time, only probation. There's one over here that's pried enough where you could get your hand into it. The two accused of breaking in here never faced the feds. Also has some profanity written on it. One took a plea deal with the state. Might need to bleep that out. Pleaded guilty to credit card abuse. They also spelled one of the cuss words incorrectly. Charges for mail theft yeah. and organized crime <laughs> dismissed. <laughs> Sentenced 14 months. The other case is still pending. Meanwhile, it took three months to get new mailboxes here. And Ava's frustration. It just makes me not confident that I'm going to receive things that I should. Remains. Last summer, the U.S. Postal Service launched Project Safe Delivery. It was supposed to be the way to combat the rise in mail thefts, stolen postal keys, even attacks on mail carriers. The project included 12,000 high security blue collection boxes and 49,000 electronic locks. But records we found showed these plans may not be enough. A USPS Inspector General audit shows those upgraded boxes and locks are in select cities and the cost to replace all would be $2.6 billion in hardware alone. So join us tomorrow for KVU News at 10. The KVU Defenders push federal lawmakers for answers. I think there's value in having a specialized police look at this problem, particularly as we see the growth in the number of carriers that are being attacked usually not to steal the mail, but to steal the key to get in the cluster mailbox to get the money. KVU's Ford Sanders breaks down proposed federal legislation to allow postal police to investigate mailbox break-ins and mail theft. That's tomorrow on KVU News at 10.